Welcome back to Monster Wars. Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher has definitely had a rough ride making it to round two. When 31-year-old Gary Porter isn't rocking and rolling on the track, he's at home on his parents' farm in Wadesboro, North Carolina. Our own Jim Davidson spent the day with Gary to check out life on the farm. They say you can take the boy out of the country. But you can't take the country out of the boy. I was raised, you know, out in the country and you know, that's where my roots are still at. You know, I just, uh, a lot of people pick him as being a Carolina hillbilly, but, you know, in a way, I'm proud of that. Carolina Crusher's Gary Porter can usually be found on his parents' farm, just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, Gary. How you doing, man? Hey, Jim, how's it going? Good, good to see you. Hey, glad you come out to the farm. Come yeah. on up here and help me feed the cattle. But Gary's mind wasn't always on feeding animals. Be a truck driver, that's something I had wanted to do, you know, is be a truck driver, run, uh, you know, heavy equipment. Gary, teach me how to drive this bad boy. Gary fulfilled his childhood dreams one step at a time, and what better way to get big truck experience than on the farm's bulldozer? Go dig in the dirt. I'm taking out the molehill! Woo! Woo! That's high intensity, and, uh, and Gary, I can't take any more, man. <laughs> All right. Come on, city boy, you're not tough enough. Come on in here. Hey, I'm going, you're going. <laughs> oh, this smells better than the air in New York City. <coughs> what was that? Feather. So when did you stop feeding the chickens and start building engines? Well, I guess after I got out of high school, you know, during high school, I took, uh, you know, auto mechanics and I learned sort of the basics. Then in 1985, I finally took the plunge and then I went to monster trucking full time. Gary's one of the most dedicated drivers on Monster Wars. Single-handedly, Gary crews, races, and maintains all aspects of the Carolina Crusher. This is a way of life. You know, I love it. It is real different for me, you know, from what I was, how I was brought up, you know, on the farm, you know, this is an entirely different lifestyle, but I love this lifestyle and I don't see me changing it anytime soon. A competitor for almost eight years, his devotion is paying off. You know, I, I consider myself a competitive driver. Uh, you know, I think I have a competitive truck. I think everybody is concerned when I pull up to the line against them that, you know, if they don't have everything on their truck 100%, or 105% that I will beat them. But Gary will be the first to tell you, with heightened competition also comes danger. Last year I was involved in a couple of, you know, pretty bad crashes. One of them in Oklahoma City with a- uh, Is that with Fred? Uh, yeah, with Barefoot. Is that, where, is that where the door comes yeah, from? Yeah, that's the driver's door. What's left of the driver's door right there, it was ripped completely off the truck. Uh, it was one of the worst accidents ever in, you know, the monster truck history. It went over the first time and I was like, it's over now, and then there's, felt like the truck, you know, picked up speed. It went over again, and I said, well, it, it's got to stop sometime. And then it laid over on its side, and, you know, it stopped, and I got out of the truck on my own, but until this day, I did not know how I got out. Gary Porter gets mega air on the track, but off the track, he tries to stay down to earth. It's been a, a lifetime dream, you know, to be racing. You know, it's sort of scary at times, you know, why was I chosen to live out the dream? You know, but, you know, I guess if I had a word, you know, to offer to anybody or, or you know, to influence anybody is, you know, to try to live that thing, you know, don't give up. Gary Porter, known as the nice guy on the Monster Wars circuit. Well, nobody knows this as well as Grave Diggers Dennis Anderson. They're neighbors in North Carolina and good friends, but on the track, friendship is put aside and they're fierce competitors. They'll be up next in round two.